Oh, hi there, Luke. Well, hello. Uh, hey, do you want to get all the secret skulls and back for blood? I sure hope we do. Me too. Uh, so there are 10 secret skulls and back for blood. They are scattered throughout certain levels. And in this video, we will show you where they are all located. Every single one? All single 10 of them. So <laughs> this first one is uh, on Act 1, The Crossing, which is the level where you have to destroy the ferry. Uh, you'll come to this wall with a big propane tank, and behind it is this bridge. You need to make your way to the far end of the bridge. On the right-hand side, you drop down into this big red container, and at the far end of the container is your first secret skull. Uh, and all you have to do is hit X on it, and you get the achievement. Easy peasy. Uh, there is a big red container uh, at the beginning of the bridge on the right-hand side. You don't want that one. Yeah, yeah, make sure you go towards the end of the bridge. Yeah, and then you get portmanteau? <laughs> Uh, for 15 gamers, <laughs> I think these are all worth 15 gamers for. So by the end of this, you're gonna have you're gonna have a decent amount. Yeah, some good. Um, the second one is Act One: Bookworms. Uh, you have to come to this uh, apartment building. You have to come here for the story. Uh, so this one's very much along the way. Um, you uh, you have to blow up the door with these uh, gas tanks and make your way into the basement. And when you come out of the basement, right in front of you on the first floor, there's a desk. Behind the desk is where the skull is uh -huh. hidden. Uh, none of these are particularly difficult. Um, the first skull, I guess, the zombies never stop spawning, so that's kind of difficult. And maybe the last one, I think that happens yeah, this, too. This one's a little hidden. I will give it that. Yeah, I, some of these are pretty well hidden, but other other ones are like you don't have to work very hard yeah. to get any. Yeah, walk of these. up, press X. Might as well get it while you're along the mission. Yep. Uh, so this third one is maybe the easiest, to be completely honest. Uh, special delivery, one of the shortest levels in the game. Uh, right before the safe room on the left-hand side, just right up there, is the skull. Pretty easy yep. to see from everywhere. All you have to do is climb up that one shelf and then jump across, and then you got it. Easy peasy. Um, a lot of these first le like a lot of the levels in Act 1 are very short. It is also nice just having some collectibles that aren't like an absolute nightmare to try and collect. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this third one, this might be the hardest one to get, just because I think this one's the best hidden. Uh, you're going to come to this, like, fallen bridge, and you'll see the one mile sign. That's where you know you're in the right, like, area. Uh, and then the next thing you have to do is, like, navigate this, like, I don't want to call it a maze, because it doesn't matter which way you go. But it's a little twisty. Yeah, just like a few alternating paths along yeah, this river. But they all lead to the same end point, and the end point is where the skull is. So don't you don't need to necessarily follow this route that I've chosen. Uh, or you could, because, you know, it's the best route, because I picked it. <laughs> uh, but at the end, there's going to be like a, uh, a rocky platform that you climb up, and the skull is hidden. Okay. Just sitting over there. Yep, yep that, that one right, right there. there. And this one's called Easily Missed. Because because it's it's yeah, a play on it's a play on words. Like kind of be running here anyway. But also because it's misty. Oh, misty. Yeah. <laughs> Who was my favorite? That was probably my first crush. Oh, misty, misty from Pokemon. Uh, right. Uh, all right. Anyways, let's talk about something else. Blue Dog Hollow Secret, baby. Um. So this next one. Uh, so now we're in Act Two, a call to arms. You will enter this garage building. Um. Here it is. Lovely. Uh. Actually, kind of a pain to get through. Uh, but when you leave, there's going to be this big giant house. Don't go in the house. Instead, move next to your gyrating bots. <laughs> oh, the AI in this game, something else. <laughs> yeah. And then walk around the backside, and at the far end of this, like, uh, I don't know, stretch is a chicken coop. And uh, there's a skull in there. This achievement's called All Cooped Up. Bark, bark. The, uh, the, whoever's doing the achievements at Turtle Rock, you're a genius. <laughs> Um, but you do have to be on the other side of it, though. You can't get yeah, it, pull it right there. Don't do not do what I did. How many chickens do you think is the right amount of chickens to own? Five. Five? That's probably a good answer. Because, like, you get too many chickens, like, you can only eat so many eggs. Yeah, and you know? then the city's going to come and shut you down, too. That's a good point. It happened to my cousin. Did it? It did. <laughs> Act two, Hinterland. Uh, this is right at the beginning. Um, right as you leave the safe room, you have to climb over all these rocks, and you will come to a waterfall. And you all know what waterfalls mean in video games. You jump down them, you turn around, and you go back into the waterfall, because nothing is as it seems. Everything's an illusion. Secrets, secrets, secrets. And there's the skull. I think this is called It's Dangerous to Go Alone. Everyone knows that's a famous Crash Bandicoot reference. Uh, my favorite. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to get a lot of angry comments for that. 
Uh, the seventh skull. Hey, seven out of ten. Not bad. We're almost there. This is grave danger. Uh, you are going to be at St. John's Church again, right at the very beginning of the level. Uh, disclaimer, there are a lot of snitches in this level. We've taken care of them. So this is just to show you where the skull is. You will have to fight quite a few zombies uh, right here. But you just stick to the right-hand side and go up to the first plot of uh, graves that you see. And the skull is in a mauso mausoleum up there. Mm, hidden over here with the, the dead, if you will. And the undead alike. Mm -hmm. yeah. Your cousin got shut down because he owned too many chickens. Yeah. What? Wh why? Uh, the, the city came over and was like... And the, you can't have this many chickens? Yeah, they are like, you can't have this many chickens. How many chickens can you have? I think they got a lot of chickens. Like, uh, like 100? Like, like 12 or 15. That's not a lot. But they, of they were also like semi living in the city, so like you can't be like, like we you can't. Own, can we own chicken? I mean, probably just probably not a lot. Can we own a chicken? I mean, I bet. Uh, Act three garden party. <laughs> you're gonna come to uh, a hedge maze. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you go into the he hedge maze. Just make it to the end. That's where the skull is. You'll know you're at the end because you'll be right here. Mm -hmm. um, this is kind of a pain to get through, but this isn't a guide about how to make it through the maze. It's a guide about how to find the skull. So instead of going up there where the safe room is, keep going through the maze. This is the only option. And the skull is in this big dumb cup. Oh, look at it. Just sitting there like Just, a trophy in a trophy. Yeah. And uh, the Knight of the Living Hedge. <laughs> oh. All right. These, these names are getting pretty good. <laughs> Um, and then the ninth skull. Oh yeah, this one. Whew. There's a lot. There's a lot of fighting that happens. There's a lot going on in this chapter. So this is probably halfway through the level, maybe a little earlier uh, in Act Three, making the grade. Uh, you have to start that generator so you can get onto the roof here. Uh, once you are on the roof, you go down here and take a right, and there's a tent on the roof. Inside the tent is the secret skull. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there's an ogre you gotta fight in here. Oh yeah, this was a lovely one. Yeah, um, this game's tough, dude. This yeah, is a tough yeah. game. The, there, there's some rocking ones. We only did this on the, the easiest difficulty so yeah, far. And yeah. We still died a few times. We Well, we tried the first level on the medium difficulty. Yeah, we were making progress. We got to the safe room, but died right before. Okay, so this is the final level of the game, Abomination. Uh, there's a lot going on here, but when you come to this red flare, uh, this is at the very end of the level, by the way. When you come to the red flare, you know you're in the right area. Stick to the left-hand side. Don't worry about the boss. We're just going to get the achievement. The skull is over these vine tentacles on the right-hand side all the way up. Uh, and the skull is very well hidden in this like little Ooh, crevice yeah. right there. Uh, but yeah, the horde never stops spawning. There's always zombies. There's always pain. I hate this level. Yeah, I hated there, this boss we fight. We barely made it through this level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's where the skull is. Uh, again, when you come to that, f you're going to fight two phases of the boss before this. This is the third and final phase. Uh, when you come to that flare room on the left-hand side, I think you have to go through it. Uh, you'll know you're about to come up to the uh, secret skull. The last secret skull. Yeah, and this is it. Look at all you've accomplished Look, so man, far. Man, you have come. So I'm super proud of you, dude. We did it. Um, hey, if this video is helpful, uh, I just, I don't know. It just, it, here's what, I, if you found this video helpful, turn off your computer, go outside, and just look at the sky. Or maybe like it.